right there. Yeah, uh, just under two minutes of the first. Oh, huge right hand there. Record, good resume, good experience, big puncher himself. Fighters neither have settled into this. Both have a good uh, knockout resume. Yeah, Woodall, most of his knockouts have been with Spectral. They knew the challenge of the other fellow face. As the quarry just gets the crowd going now. Oh, good backhand. Just for the killer blow. Every oh, oh, a huge right hand. And Woodall again just with well, the head flicked back. He's on the ropes. For a long time, even with top class uh, UK opposition. Oh, brilliant. Work. Shot. Well, Big shot, that should have been there. He's trying to get in there, oh, the referee might be. Yeah, his glove hit He's the canvas. Should have been in the knock there, yeah. Oh, really G'd up now, and what will that oh. do for Paul oh. McCrory, who catches Woodall on the ropes of good. Well, McCrory just trying to get that left yeah. hook going again, and well, urge McCrory over the line here. This very partisan crowd is, again, just... Well, listen. What are you seeing from Berlanga right now? Good right hand by Berlanga right there. Nigga. Look at that foot fade right there. Is that a knockdown? Yes, knock it is. That's it skimmed the temple, or so it seemed. Quick, good kind of smile. Good body work, and he ate another shot. And now Berlanga's going all out. Quigley's going to have to get some respect. He's going to have to get the respect of Berlanga here. Moore is not going to be enough. This is not where Quigley wants to be. That shouldn't be a knockdown, but they are. Five, Just flipping that jab out there isn't going to get it done. Good. Big big that was a knockdown. A big power punch lands for Berlanga, and that could basically seal the deal. Quigley thought he might have a chance to win. Now he's just trying to survive. Quigley's mouthpiece is out. Under a minute left. Right hand scores for Berlanga. That's a knockdown. And that's it. That knockout spree through 2017, 2018, where it was round one, round two, left, right, and, and centre. One eventually saw the, the distance out over four rounds. Now, that was back in 2018. Last week. And you have nothing, nothing else in, in, in your locker, of course. There's no doubt that the, the Collins fight was posing him problems until he turned it all around in the second half and he, he got that uh, eighth round stoppage as well. Uh, which was uh, a career high for him on that to Collins. Oh, he's hurt him there. The power already getting through. And he's going after him, McCrory. Another big left hand. Oh, there's a long, long way to go here. That's just under two minutes of the first. Oh, huge right hand there from Podrick McCrory. And up against the ropes. And Mark Lyson has waved it all off. It was a huge right hand. The Barchu. Oh, Look at that combination. Right there. Three. Get out. It's over. There's your knockout. Yeah, but you you know, look at the feet of Berlanga. They're always close to the ground. You know, power punchers. I like that. They like to dig their toes into the canvas because power. Oh, there's a big right hand, and he's got his man hurt. Samir Barbosa is wobbly here early on, and it's over exactly as we expected. Ten very dangerous. Face with the right hand. Yes. And Max, I'm going to give you yes. Salino Freitas. <laughs> That's right, Max. Here, Berlanga, able, seemingly winning rounds, digs in with the Caceres in the corner of the heavyweight champion. Opponent. Uh, also, power punches. Oh, Caceres, oh, hard right. Yeah, I agree with you. He's, he needs to turn it up. Really close just in the last round. Oh, he got close on the way in. First time he's ever been Six, knocked down. Seven. Eight. Yeah. Let's go. And look at Caceres, can barely see out of that eye, and he puts Berlanga down. He is firing out, he's got his bed hurt, he's staggering with the hole. Berlanga in the corner. Oh. Oh. Wow, 
Oh, he's got that one. Yeah. But he's able to counter. Yeah. Maybe he's bringing him in. Takes a body shot. Eats a body yeah. shot. Combination and ending off with a left hook. At some point, every young prospect slash contender has to be. And still undefeated, the chosen one, Edgar Berlanga. Power in that right hand, and he throws it. Hits off the gloves of Berlanga. Oh, there's a good shot landed with the left hand. Edgar's just really nice paint from Berlanga. Not as consistent with it. No. Ooh, a good right hand there. Rocked in. Back to the jab goes by. There is a body shot with the lead left hand. Mm. And he tried there to land that. You know the book on him. It's just, this is like you said, fight. much of the same. Down to the body with the left hand goes in. And little up top. Punch. Oh, and caught him with one right there. Short left hand. Feels like he's got the legs of Angulo wobbled. Der, der ein bisschen mehr Erfahrung. Aber die Präzision kommt er nicht so sehr über die Wucht. Er sitzt aus der langen Distanz mit dem Aufwärtssagen. Das ist ein bisschen zu optimistisch. Sowas sollte nicht durchgehen, zumindest nicht, wenn man noch voll konzentriert ist. Jetzt wird mal die Auslage, stellt sich so ein bisschen hin, drückt ihn runter. Das war... Und da darf er dann nicht so stehen bleiben, Leon Bunn. Und so auch nicht. Das sind wilde Schwie IBO, immer noch erklärungsbedürftig ist. Er wackelt, Bunn wackelt, er kassiert den Volltreffer und der wird durchmarschieren, weggehen. Es wird gefährlich, nicht mitschlagen. Nochmal die rechte und die linke. Bund wackelt. Aber er versucht, die Deckung geschlossen zu halten. Versucht mitzuschlagen. Es sieht nicht gut aus am Seil. Noch 25 Sekunden. Er kassiert die linke. Junge. 11 Sekunden, 10 Sekunden. Er nimmt sie. so stehen bleiben und nicht darauf warten, dass die Treffer kommen. Natürlich wird er weiter so marschieren. Vielleicht auch alles reinwerfen, McRory, der auch schon überlegt hat, schaffe ich das überhaupt, zwölf Runden hier durchmarschieren zu können? Na, dann probiere es halt in Vieren. Und wenn jetzt die Chance da ist, alles reinzulegen, bleiben und nicht so stehen bleiben, vor allen Dingen, kassiert wieder. Und das ist dann nochmal ein Volltreffer von Fit. Er wirkt jetzt so, als ob er nicht nur weitermachen will, sondern das auch wirklich kann. Aber er muss auch weggehen, er muss auch was anbieten, er muss auch mitschlagen. Und darf da nicht nur einfach abwarten, dass ein Volltreffer reinkommt. Wieder kommt der Haken durch, verdammt, die Deckung ist nicht gut genug, sie ist nicht stabil. Will man das wirklich laufen lassen? Ich bin nicht sicher. Er steht am Seil, er kann nicht mehr so richtig dagegen halten. Oder vielleicht doch, er braucht jetzt irgendwas. Darüber in die Ecke, Jörg Mielke. Ein guter Konter. Immerhin, ja, jetzt mal ein, zwei Dinger selber treffen. Nicht nur Kassiten zu kommen und sich wieder zu sammeln. Ähm, jammert aber auch ein bisschen viel zum Referee, McCrory. Also dafür, dass es hier für ihn so gut läuft. Sich dafür jede Kleinigkeit so zu beschweren, anstatt selber in die Aktion zu gehen. Könnte ja ein Hinweis sein, dass er ähm, möglicherweise ähm, Probleme hat. Aber die Probleme hat ein anderer und das muss das Ende sein. Junge, brich hier ab, mach vorbei, mach Schluss, durch den Kampf ab. Das kann so nicht weitergehen. Das hat doch kam von Conny Mittermeier und das war absolut richtig so. Das war ähm, zum richtigen Zeitpunkt. Denn das
took from the Crawley. I don't know why Neves was competing no, about there. He, he, he was in the back of the head. Oh, well. oh shot oh. there from Neves. Lands a right hook of his own. Early action here at Ulster Hall. And the jab and rock. Oh, shot there from McCrory. And the right hand there on the top of the head. Should have come back with the left hook, though. If anything, just to put himself back on line. Oh, the left hook back there for Neves and the jab. Not the man. Backs in off the arms and goes, but then gets through. Both men high guard early on. Oh, Whoa. massive shot from McCrory! Left hand irons out Four. Neves for Celso Neves. A lot of time left in the rounds. One, two. And Neves down for the second time. Out this time. And McCrory defends his belt in front of the home crowd. And, that, and one of them it. just hit the deck. They're going to call it a knockdown. That's one, one. And down, down again. That is not a slip. And that's it. It's all over. Just trying to distract all these two in the opening round. Short left hand there from McCrory. Followed up with a right. I don't think that Andy Clint. Does he need to get on the jab a bit more here, McCrory? Just shoot that little good punching distance there, Dorokov. And then he didn't let his hands go. Straight in. He's happy to step in and throw Dorokov. That's what I was talking about towards the end. There's a bit of blood coming. In the end of the nose, I think, in the glory, possibly. Broken before, I think it's fair to say that. That was a good shot, though, from McCrory. McCrory, as we mentioned, he sets his feet and puts some meat on that. Gorokov is feeling some of these, you can tell that. Just sinking into the ropes, bobbing and weaving. McCrory very, very close with another left hand there. If he can land clean before the end of the round here, I think Gorokov is ready to go down again. He just half turned his back. The blood from the nose may be a problem. Decent combination there from McCrory, who's nice and accurate and spiteful, looking for the uppercut. Turns it up just a little notch, he'll get rid of him here. He's really putting a dent. This towards the end of that round, Gorokov looked no, like he'd rather be no. anywhere else as he does there. Just. Wipes the blood away from his nose. Sink of the head there, I think, maybe. And the referee has laid this one over. And that doesn't come as any great surprise. As you said, David, the stress signals. And the glory, let's try and the glory.